Hi everyone, Merciful here with another edition of my Jurassic Park pinball adventure. Now I'm going to be unboxing some pins sound later on, but first I thought I'd take you to Longney Safari Park. And this is the reason why I'm at Long Lee. Today is the last weekend of the T-Rex, the Killer Question exhibition at Longleat, which is why a bunch of Jurassic Park cosplayers got together, and I couldn't resist getting into cosplay yourself, I only live five miles away. So, should we go and have a look? So was T-Rex a predator or a scavenger? I don't know, maybe it was a bit of both. Now this display is sadly leaving Longley, so you can't come down and see it yourself, but it is famous for its real life predators. So let's go and have a look at some of them. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Now I'm back home now and I hope you really enjoyed the little dinosaur and safari tour I just did. Now one of the Jurassic Park inspired vehicles at Longleat today was lucky to get permission to go through the lions and there's a really cool video of the Peugeot rat car filmed by Driving With Nico on YouTube. I'll put a link for that in the description. Do go and take a look at that after you've seen this video of my unboxing. Pin Sound is a full replacement sound card for pinball machines designed by Nicholas and Timothy Mano in France. It's a plug and play board with features such as 2.1 stereo class D amplifier, premium noise isolation, 4 band digital tone control equalizer with sub booster control and a gold plated RCA output connector. Wow, that's a mouthful. Now the very same pin sound board can be installed in more than 100 different pinball machines from Williams, Data East, Stern, uh, Sega. And there's a modestly sized community of produced replicas of the original music and also new scores in high definition surround sound. For a full list of compatible machines, go to pinsound.org. Now, enough chatter, I think I've talked enough for now, so let's go and have a look at what I've got. And this is it, this is the new generation Pinsound Plus soundboard from Pinsound. Now it comes in a nice little box here, nice and, uh, nice and sturdy. Uh, barcode, which I presume is for stock control units. It's not a great deal of other 
information on here. Just a little uh, little picture of the card there. So let's go and have a look and see what is inside. So we've got oh some sweets. Oh, we've got some lovely sweets. Wow, that was that's a nice surprise, isn't it? Um, and a key ring and a nice little thank you note by the looks of it from uh, Nicholas and Timothy. Um, these are brackets for uh, making it fit into certain machines. I'm not sure if uh, Data East needs these, but uh, they come anyway. Uh, the instructions. This is installation instructions for uh, Bally Williams machines. Uh, Data East. Uh, System 11 there as well. And it gives some examples of, of ones uh, uh, and what you need. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so the data east does need the uh, uh, brackets. Right. Let's have a look under this foam. So it comes in a nice sealed anti-static bag with a little silica gel in there. By the looks of it. Gently take it out. So upside down. That is the uh, sound card replacement. So it actually goes in sideways. I'm not sure which way it goes uh, without looking at my machine. Uh, and we've got various different connectors here. That uh, must be this way up by the looks of it. Uh, we've got a heat sink there. Uh, these are the gold plated RCA uh, output connectors. And uh, there's a USB here. Uh, so you need to actually store the music on um, a USB stick. So I've got a little miniature one there. And that is the dedicated headphone uh, output, which I will talk about in a little bit. So let's stick him away. And then we'll see what else I've got. Now you can use the original speakers uh, with uh, your pinball machine, but to get the best uh, quality I suppose output you're going to want some new speakers now these are uh, some brand new speakers that are specifically for uh, the pin sound soundboard and uh, th uh, these would not work if you just put them in um, a standard machine but they are specially designed to work with pin sound so we have a look and see what we've got so we've got two oh, I see that in there with foam oh it's very well packaged Okay, I'm not going to take this apart just yet because I think it's sealed. Oh, no, I can. There we go. I'll just take one out and have a look. Well, there's some good weight to these. So these are the connectors that you will need to uh, solder onto uh, the cables that are in the machine. These are these are some good quality speakers. I can really feel the weight of these so uh, let's go and put that in there um, and as well as these I've also got a brand new subwoofer so this is a uh, connector I think for oh there's the instructions in there let's have a look at that in a sec this is the subwoofer so let's give this an open wow this is a beast So look at the size of that. Wow, that's really going to pump out some uh, some audio out of this pinball machine. Let's get some dampening there, foam. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Blimey, I mean, that is heavy. So this uh, is the instructions and uh, various paraphernalia. Open this up. So this explains the speaker system and the subwoofer uh, standoffs and where it goes and some instructions on how to do it. Loads of screws here provided. That's really really good. Uh, solder, which order they need to be on, how to do it, and uh, yeah. But uh, I need to. I've got a broken grill on my uh, base of my pinball machine cabinet, so I do need to. Um, get a replacement one of those before I actually fit this. Let's move this out of the way. 
So in this packet here, I've got a power booster cable. So let's just have a look and see what it is. Now this rather unassuming cable um, is actually quite essential in uh, Data East machines. Um, sometimes the older Data East machines can struggle to keep full power to the sound card and that can sometimes result in uh, dropouts whenever there's uh, a lot of music or sound effects going on. Um, so what this does is this kind of splits some of the um, power off. So th uh, this symbol here represents the um, power supply board and this is the sound card. So uh, we have to connect CN4 uh, to CN2 and they are marked on the um, circuit boards themselves so I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Oh yeah, it even says here, look, uh, on label, so you can't go wrong, he says. Well, we shall see, won't we, when I come to actually put it together. And the last thing I've got is this rather disappointing um, brown box, but inside, you remember when I said that there was a dedicated headphone station port on the soundboard itself? Well, that's what this is. So let's open it and have a look. Got some clips, a cable, kind of like a, based on a Cat5 cable perhaps. Um, what this does, this goes onto the leg of your pinball machine uh, and this connects into the sound uh, soundboard itself and gives you easily accessible volume control on, uh, on the leg of the machine and a, and a little headphone port there. Now this is, the uh, volume control is quite important on pin sound because how you change the sound palette is by turning it all the way down and then you turn it back up again. So rather than uh, having to open the back box to do that or to reach, uh, undo the uh, coin door and reach inside and do it that way, um, you can do it directly from the leg. Now, as this is gonna be living in my home, uh, this isn't gonna be in an arcade, uh, this is probably really, really good idea. And I think it's on offer at pinsound.org at the moment. So uh, do go on that website and check it out. Now I'm just going to get everything all out, well I'm not going to get everything out because I can't fit it on screen, but I'm just going to move that out of the way and that and then show you the board as well. So these are the two key uh, items really we've got the pin sound replacement soundboard and the headphone station the speakers which uh, I put back in their boxes now this should give me uh, great quality sound I can change the sound palette and uh, in fact the music that I showed earlier during the safari was one of the pieces of music in uh, the uh, the new sounds that you can download for Jurassic Park uh, so I'm really looking forward to putting this into my machine and uh, I expect it will be my next video, so do make sure you are liked and subscribed to this channel. So I'm going to be fitting all of this into my Data East Jurassic Park very soon, but I'm just waiting for a speaker grill to go on the bottom of my cabinet before I go ahead and do that. Now, um, I'll put links in the description for all the various things today, uh, Longleat Safari Park, Theme Machines, Jurassic Park Motorpool, uh, UK JP29, that's the, one of the cheapest that I saw. Um, so uh, please like, subscribe, stay tuned to this channel for more pinball related videos and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Matt Sims, Merciful, and uh, I shall see you soon. Bye bye.